Hello YouTube, how is everyone doing? It's Professional here. Today I wanted to make a video talking about the daily challenges in Red Dead Online, and if they are worth doing. I was very curious if there was a bonus for completing them for a week straight, like in GTA. Anyways, let me get straight to the point. There is no extra bonus for completing them in a week. It's kind of disappointing, as there should be a weekly bonus and a monthly bonus like in GTA. I tried to look it up if there was a weekly bonus, and I couldn't find anything on it. A lot of people asked me if there was one, so I decided to test it for myself. I have done the daily objectives for 9 days straight now, so I think I have a good idea of how they work. For each challenge you complete, you get 200 XP and 0.10 gold, and if you complete all 7, you get a 0.30 gold bonus. In total, you can get 1 gold bar a day. Now are daily challenges worth doing? In my opinion, yes and no. It really depends on what kind of challenge you get. When you get the daily challenges, you will almost always get one or two that are just a pain to do. Most of them are easy, but then you have those one or two challenges that are just really complicated ones. One day I got all easy ones, but almost always when you play the daily challenges, there's going to be those, just those two that are just annoying. Take a look at this one from a few days ago. Kill three players with a Maxim gun. The Maxim gun is that mounted machine gun. You know, it doesn't seem hard the way it's described, but it actually is. It's really hard to do because the machine gun, it's rare to find. You would have to most likely find a gang hideout that has one. You have to clear out the gang hideout. Then you have to get three players to come over and kill them or get one player to come over and keep killing that player. I know some people will tell me to play Showdown. Just do it in Showdown. But I try to kill people with the Maxim in Showdown and it's really hard to do it. You are very exposed and you can't move and they just headshot you once when you're on that gun and you're dead. I did it with my friend where he let me kill him three times and I killed him three times. But if you don't have a friend, this can get really complicated. But that's not the worst challenge. If you look on here, it also says to successfully counter another player's free roam mission. That means that you have to ruin someone's stranger mission. This means you would have to run around the entire map until you find someone doing a mission, and then you would have to steal their bag, steal their wagon, or some other way ruin their mission. This would be very difficult as you don't know where players are on the map unless they're very close to you, and you also have to find someone doing a mission, and not only that, but you would have to stop them on that mission. This would cause a war of other players. If someone tried to ruin my mission, I would keep fighting them, wouldn't you? The best way to do objectives like this is to do them with your friends. I had another challenge where I had to shoot five birds from a train. Seems simple, right? The problem is it's pretty hard to find a train. I was riding around with my other friend and I finally found a train. It was being driven by another player. He immediately stopped the train when I jumped on and started shooting at me, probably thinking I was trying to kill him. I tried to message him unfriendly, but his messages were sent to friends only. Eventually, he got off the train and I had to ask one of my friends to drive it while I killed the birds and then we switched off. The birds? They didn't spawn for most of the ride. So, you know, I, me and my other friend, we were spending the roof on the train, most of the ride, and they finally spawned, and I was really happy when they spawned and I killed them, but we were wasting a lot of time on the roof of that train. In short, I recommend you do the challenges as it's an easy way to make some extra gold, but the really complicated ones, I wouldn't bother with them. You're going to waste more time trying to do them when you could have made more gold in that time doing other activities. Don't do the complicated challenges unless you have a way to do them, like with a friend to help you here. If they add weekly bonuses in the future, then I recommend to do them. If you do plan on doing all the challenges in a day, make sure you complete the really hard ones first because you never know when you will need to do something and then when you have to come back later to the game you might not have time to finish it that happened to me a few times where you know i did the easy challenges then i had something to do and i came back to the game didn't have that much time but i did finish it in time so if you're planning on doing all of them make sure to do the complicated ones first to get them out of the way also some other tips if you have a hunting challenge look up where that animal is located and make sure you know the times that animal spawns for gun challenges, if you have a certain weapon you need player kills with and you don't want to kill people in free mode, do it in a showdown or a free mode event. As it's PvP, you get money and gold for it and you complete your challenge. If it's a hard gun to get kills with, like in one challenge I had to get 5 kills with the Carcano rifle, then you can melee people with it. I had a hard time sniping people in showdown with the Carcano rifle, and I found that if you melee them with whatever gun the challenge says to use it with, it'll work. It doesn't even have to be fired, just melee kill them with it and it'll count. For herb challenges, they're pretty easy, but the problem is these glitch out the most. Sometimes you have to pick way more than 5 herbs, so make sure you check your menu how many herbs you need. And that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you guys need advice or tips on any other challenges, post your questions down below. I'll try to help as many people as I can as I've completed a lot of these challenges. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like. And if you're new to my channel and enjoy my content, subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everyone.